Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah today. You know, the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. And he wants me to bring this word out because we notice that many Christians today, they are believers and they love the Lord and they've committed their life to Christ and their sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. That's the beauty of the new creation. You know, we know our sins are forgiven. But the Lord wants us to go deeper with Him. He wants us to go deeper. And there's something that we've seen a pattern of over the years, being on the Internet since 2007. And it's people who are still using filthy communication, cuss words, like the F word, the S word, just on a regular basis, you know. It's, or it's just very easy to come out of their mouth, you know. And... Jesus said in Matthew 15, 11, it, in verse 10, he, he called the multitude unto him and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. This defileth a man. It's the, those filthy words that we used to use when we were in the old world and the, when we were in the world and, and doing uh, as the world does, you know, growing up and cussing and filthy, just filthy words all the time coming out of our mouths. But when we get born anew, we get a new heart. We get a new heart. And if we say those words, we get convicted instantly. And, you know, if you're not getting convicted, you need to ask the Lord why. Because those words are filthy. They, they point to things that are filthy. Okay? And, and they're dirty. And they're funky. And it's not becoming a believer. One who follows the Lord to use words such as the F word. Or even if they say, you'll hear some creep. One guy, we saw a video of one guy and he was saying, freaking this and freaking that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You know? He just needs to come out and say it. I mean, if he's going to say it, because everybody knows what it means. God, it's still the same word coming out of the heart of the believer. Now, it's the old nature. It's not what goes into your mouth that defiles you. What comes out, and when you're using cuss words, that's defiling you. It's defiling your temple. It's defiling your soul. And you need to call out to God for repentance and ask God to forgive you. You need to say, Lord, help me with this. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 5, Paul talking here, he says, Mortify therefore your members, okay, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walked sometime when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all these. Now, put off all these. Anger. Wrath. Malice. Blasphemy. And then he says, filthy communication out of your mouth. Now, anger, wrath, malice, and blasphemy are all issues of the heart. They're all issues of the heart. And if you're angry at someone, you have a tendency to let filthy communication come out of your mouth, okay? So you need to ask God to deal with the anger, okay, first, all right? You see, wrath, that word wrath, this is interesting. That word wrath is passion as if breathing hard, fierceness, indignation, wrath. It's just like, I'm just going to get that guy, you know, and, and then all of a sudden, here comes all these filthy words out of your mouth. You got to stop it. You got to repent. You got to say, Lord, change me, cleanse me, Lord, all the way through. Take your holy blood, Lord. Take your sword and just go through and just cleanse out my whole heart. Hallelujah. And then malice. You know, it, you can see the progression here. Anger, wrath, then malice. Oh, malice, badness, depravity, or actively malignity. It's like, like just malignity. It's like a tumor, you know. Or passively, trouble, evil, malice, maliciousness, naughtiness, wickedness. See, these things manifest through the mouth. Okay? 
and then blasphemy blasphemy and and that word blasphemy is vilification especially against god see it's against god because you don't want to speak wholesome words some of you you have to want to speak those wholesome words when i come back to the lord on thanksgiving day 1994 right after that i was driving home from work one day and some guy cut me off on the highway and man i flipped that guy off and boy the lord smoked my heart instantly because man that's not the way that's not the way I was smitten by the Lord. And, and the Lord wants to cleanse the heart, the old nature in us. He wants to take that old nature out of it. He wants to remove it. Actually, he wants to put it to death. And that's what the sanctification process is all about. But we have to be willing vessels, okay? Well, we see anger, wrath, malice, and blasphemy. These things are issues of the heart. You have to get with God. I have to get with God. If I have any of this in my life, and say, Lord, take this out of me. See? Take it out of me. Filthy communication. Saying the F word, the S word, GD, and all this other stuff. Even if you say freaking, it's the same thing as saying the other word. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And then I wrote a, a small little blog talking about not only is that filthy communication, those words, but also words of doubt, words of discontentment. Words of covetousness against the way, because God has you in a hard way. That that those that's filthy communication. We should be giving of thanks. Now listen, and, and then he, and then Paul says, "Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds." Have you put off the old man with his deeds, with his filthy communication, his anger, his wrath, his malice, his blasphemy? Put off these things. Put off all these things with his deeds, the old man. And have put on the new man. Okay? Let me read that verse again, verse 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off. Ye have put off. Hallelujah. The old man with his deeds. And have put on the new man. See? which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. See, the new man is created by Christ Jesus. Okay? Hallelujah. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on. Now, you put those others off, and then you put on, therefore, as the elect of God. Okay? In other words, you have to cry out to God, Lord, help me, Lord. Put these things on my life, Lord, and in my heart and in my mind, Lord. Sanctify my soul and make me more like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See? Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind. Instead of angry mind, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, if you have a quarrel against any, oh, praise God. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Put on charity. Put on charity. Hallelujah. Which is the bond of of perfectness and that word charity that's agape that's agape love you know this is a serious matter because the the mouth reveals what's in the heart okay so if you find yourself saying cuss words or typing cuss words and doing little things like that and you don't think nothing of it hey it's a big deal okay it is a big deal because it's defiling you it's defiling you okay so just go to the Lord with it and say, Lord, just cleanse me, purify me through and through, Lord. Take out the anger. Take out the, the malice. Take out the wrath. Take out the, the blasphemy, Lord. Take it all out, Lord. Take out the discontentment, the, the doubt, the discouragement, the coveting against the way. Take all that stuff out. 
and he's faithful he'll come to you and he'll he'll remove those things from you he'll give you the victory over those things hallelujah father i just praise you and thank you lord i pray you help your people today help us all lord let us have hearts of thanksgiving giving you thanks lord that is a well-pleasing sacrifice unto you and if and if people are uh sharing with us and talking to us and maybe they're pointing out our faults or our sin to us lord let us not react in a way that is uh you know against your will lord but let us react with with submission let us react with submission and submit to you lord and just say come in lord come lord come cleanse me lord purify me oh god hallelujah hallelujah in jesus name amen